Assalamualaikum and hi. Before we start the lesson, let me introduce myself. I am Puan Wanul Fuziana binti Abdul Jani from SKKLIA, Sepang, Selangor. Today, I'm going to teach science year 2. The topic is about scientific process skills, which is measuring and using numbers using appropriate tools. Are you ready? Make sure you have your sign textbook, a ruler, pencil, and a piece of paper. Try to jot down important points and take part in some simple hands-on activity. The world has things with many different sizes. For example, in the classroom, we have a whiteboard, a table, a pencil, and other things. How can you describe the size of a pencil and the whiteboard to your friends? Correct, you can use length, width, and height. Now, let's watch how Hanif measures the length of a pencil. Hanif is using a non-standard tool to measure the length of a pencil. One, two, three, four, and five. The pencil is five paper clips long. The paper clip is an example of a non-standard tool, which you already learned in the kindergarten. For year two, you are going to measure a quantity by using appropriate tools and standard units. As for the learning objective, at the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to number one, identify appropriate tools and standard units to measure a quantity. Number two, measure length, height, and width in centimeter and meter. Number three, measure body weight in kilogram. What is measurement? There are different types of measurement. We can measure body weight, length, time, temperature, and volume. In this lesson, we will focus on the measurement of length and body weight. Before we learn how to measure length, let's identify some quantities of length measurement. Quantity number one is length. Length is a type of measurement. It tells us how long or short something is. A long pencil, a short pencil. Quantity number two is height. To see how tall or short the trees are, we measure their height. A coconut tree is taller than a papaya tree. And to see how wide or narrow something is, we measure the width. Mm, how about a length measurement around the circle? The length around a circle is a circumference. Now, let's look at this whiteboard. A whiteboard is a 2D or a two-dimensional object. This whiteboard has two measurements, width and length. Can you identify which side is width and which side is length? Yes, for two-dimensional object, length is always the longer side. Look at this desk. 
This test has all three parts. These three measurements are the height, the length and the width. You already know the quantities. Now, how to measure the quantities? By using appropriate tools and standard units. At the beginning of the lesson, you have already watched Hanif. He used paper clips to measure the length of the pencil, which is non-standard unit. What is standard unit? Now, let's look at the measurement tools. There are non-standard units and standard units. Non-standard units are units and tools that are not a consistent system of measurement. Examples of non-standard tools are paper clip and buttons. While standard units are units of measurement and tools that are common in our world. Examples of standard tools are stopwatch, weighing scale, thermometer, ruler, and beaker. We can use standard units and standard tools to measure length. A ruler is a tool used to measure length. Here, the ruler is marked in centimeter along the top and in inch along the bottom. A normal school ruler is 15 centimeter or 30 centimeter. Small things can be measured by using a ruler. This is a measuring tip. It is a flexible ruler to measure big size things or distances that are too long for a ruler to measure. It has metal strips with linear measurement markings. This type of measuring tape shows length in meter and feet. This is also a measuring tape. This type of measuring tape is usually made of plastic. It is used for taking body measurement. The unit is centimeter and inch. Can you identify the appropriate tools and standard units to measure the length of the sign textbook and the wardrobe. Yes, we can use a ruler to measure the length of the sign textbook. Small things can be measured using a ruler. The standard unit is centimeter. And we use a measuring tape to measure the length of a wardrobe. And we measure bigger things in meters. Do you know how to read a ruler? Now, let's learn how to read a ruler. Make sure you read the ruler from left to right. The distance from A to B is 10 cm. The red lines represent the number in centimeter. One centimeter until ten centimeter. The reading is one centimeter, eight centimeter, and what is the reading for this one? Correct, it is five centimeter. Now, let's look at the blue line. 
the blue lines in between the numbers represent half of a centimeter. O, 0 0.5 centimeter, 3.5 centimeter. Now, what is the reading? Well done, it is 6.5 centimeter. Now, you are going to draw a line. Do you have a ruler, a piece of paper, and a pencil? Good, let's start. Draw a line of 7 centimeter. Remember, always start at zero. Now, check your answer. Is it the same as mine? Good! Now, you know how to draw a 7 cm line by using a ruler. Let's measure this pencil. Step number 1. Place the end of an object in line with the zero mark. Step number two, read the length of the measurement of the correct position of the eyes. Make sure you read the ruler from left to right. The left side of the line where the object ends will be its measurement in centimeters. The length of the pencil is 6 cm. Now, try to measure the length of this paper clip. Remember the step. Number 1, place the end of an object in line with the zero mark. Number 2, read the length of the me measurement at the correct position of the eyes. Make sure you read the ruler from left to right. Well done! The length of the paper clip is 4 cm. Now, let's learn how to record the measurement in a table. This is how the table looks. The top column is the parameter that we use. Object is the parameter for pencil and paper clip, while length in centimeter is the parameter for the quantity that we measured. We put the pencil in the object column and the length is 6 centimeter. The paper clip should be in the object column and 4 cm is the measurement of the length. Are you ready for your second hands-on activity? Take your sign textbook and your ruler. Measure the width of your sign year 2 textbook. Remember the steps. Number 1. Place the end of an object in line with the zero mark. Number 2. Read the length of the measurement at the correct position of the eyes. Make sure you read the ruler from left to right. What is your answer? Let's check your answer. The width of the textbook measured with the ruler is 90 cm. Good! Let's learn how to record the changes of height of a growing plant. Measure the height of the plant in day 7 and day 15. The height of the growing plant in day 7 is 
6 cm. And the height of the growing plant in day 15 is 10 cm. The height of the plant for day 15 is higher than day 7. The last part for length measurement is to measure the heat. How would we measure a child's heat? Heat circumference is a measurement of a child's heat around its largest area. Position a measuring tape from above the eyebrows and ears and around the back of the head slopes up from the neck. Overlap the tape slightly to get the most accurate measurement and note the number. Mm, how would you measure your friend's head or your sibling's head if you don't have a measuring tape? Don't worry, you can use a ribbon and a ruler. Let me teach you how to measure your friend's head or your sibling's head by using a ruler and ribbon. Head measurement. Wrap the ribbon around your friend's or sibling's head. Mark the edge where the ribbon overlaps. Cut at the mark spot. Then, measure the length of the ribbon using a ruler. The head measurement is 50 cm. Let's check our learning objective. Can you identify appropriate tools and standard units to measure a quantity? Measure length, height, and width in centimeter and meter. Now, let's learn measuring body weight in kilogram. Look at Aimi and Anik. They are playing seesaw together. Who is heavier? Yes, Aimi is heavier than Anik. Heavier things will go down while lighter things will go up. Do we know their body weights? How do we measure the body weight? We can measure the weight of our body by using a weighing scale. There are two types of weighing scales, analog and digital. Analog weighing scales rely on springs to calculate weights. It works mechanically and so do not need a power supply. While digital weighing skills use battery. So, analog and digital skills differ in how they displace weight, mechanically or electronically. The standard unit is kilogram and the symbol is kg. How to use an analog weighing scale? Let's watch the video. Now, let's help Putri and Susan to measure their body weight. 
Putri and Susan are in the same class. First, we look at Putri's weighing scale. Focus on the red line. Putri's body weight is 25 kg. What about Susan's body weight? Look at the red line. Susan's body weight is 35 kg. Putri is 25 kg while Susan is 35 kg. So, Susan is heavier than Putri. Although Putri and Susan are of the same age, they have different body weight. Let's check the quantities, standard tools and measuring tools that you have learned today. For length, height and width, the units are centimeter and meter. The symbols are cm and m. The measuring tools are ruler and a measuring tape. For body weight, the unit is kilogram. The symbol is kg and the measuring tool is weighing scale. The importance of measurement in our daily life. Measuring height and weight helps to show whether a child is growing well or not. It helps find the actual size. For example, a teller measure body parts for the better fittings of clothes. Now, let's try some question to test your understanding on what we had learned today. Question number one. What is the sign process skill shown in the diagram? A. Observing. B. Measure and use numbers. C. Classifying. Correct. The answer is B. Measure and use numbers. The girl is measuring her friend's height. Question number two. What is the tool and standard unit that suitable for this activity? A. Ruler and the unit is CM. B. Weighing scale and the unit is KG. Or C. Measuring tape and the unit is CM. Great! The answer is C. Measuring tape and standard unit in CM. Question number 3. Choose another tool to measure Encik Ahmad's head. A. A ruler and string. B. String. Or C. Weighing scale. Awesome! The answer is A. Yes, you can use a ruler and string if you don't have a measuring tape. Question number 4. Aina and Akmal are in the same class. Is the measurement of Aina's body weight same as Akmal? Why? A. Yes, because Aina and Akmal are of the same age. Or B. No. Human growth are different among individuals of the same age because of the different in day of birth, food consumption, environment factors, and others. Yes, the answer is B. No, 
human growth are different among individuals of the same age because of the different in day of birth, food consumption, environment factors, and others. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for your cooperation. You did a great job. Good day.